Hey everybody, Jake here, and I have a very special package today from Kaiser. Um, all this was sent to me by Kaiser at no charge, so please keep that in mind. But let's go ahead and do a really cool unboxing here. Um, huge, massive thing, and we have a peel tab up here at top, so pardon, and it ripped. Okay, that's fine. You know, we'll unbox it with another Kaiser I have. Um, this one I purchased from... Indiana Knives. You can check out my unboxing of that as well. And you can purchase the knife from there. Go ahead and slice this open here. Okay. Um, that's interesting. So... Okay. Okay. Um, let's get this opened, I guess. It's a very unique packaging, I'll, I'll, I'll say that. That's all I'm going to say about it. Okay, it is actually the knife, so I got kind of paranoid there for a minute. Okay. So we have one there. And it slipped out of its slipcase. So it, it, oh goodness gracious, things are trying to fall out. It does come in the slipcase, so I'll put it back in there for just a moment. And we got this. So we have two Tangram knives and a Kaiser. We'll go ahead and scoot the Kaiser off to the side. Take a look at it in that last. Got two tandem knives here. Now, again, these were sent to me by Kaiser. These opinions are all my own. I'm not letting this influence me in any way. Let's go ahead and jump into this. So, this is my first look at a tandem knife, and I've heard a lot about them. And they seem to be fairly good quality from what I've heard, if I can figure out how to open it up. Oh, okay. Just a little slip sleeve. <laughs> I, I like this. This kind of like layered cardboard looks pretty cool. They have this, I'm assuming. Yep. Okay, so you just kind of untie it. I love this packaging. It's um, very unique. And it's, you know, semi-disposable. That's cool. So there's a little cardboard sword you can kind of pop out. Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay, sorry. I love the color. <laughs> um, so you get a microfiber cloth, a little instruction booklet, and the knife. This here is the Tangram Vector. This other one should be as well, just in a different color. Wow. That is a nice size. I like that quite a bit, honestly. So this is a button lock. I was curious to see. I guess you could. Let's uh, check out the action on it real quick. Oh, that's good. Um, ergonomics aren't bad. I'm having a little bit of trouble gripping down here. So that's kind of a... It feels almost like my ZT um, with that, like the kind of trailing off. Very, very thin blade stock on this. I like this quite a bit. Not drop shut smooth yet, but I'm sure I can get it there. I don't know. Maybe if I kind of... Yeah, you can just about get it there. So it is a button lock. So you can open it up, hold down the button, and close it. Very nice action on these. That's that's good. I feel a little bit of a kick. I'm so used to a liner lock, it's, it's going to take me a bit to get used to this, but that's nice. Um, clip's kind of unremarkable looking, but it seems like it'll function well. Really, really like this color. Let's go ahead and um, set that one to the side. And put that one's packaging to the side as well. And we'll open up the next one, which should be in black. Let's go ahead and do the same thing with this. Unwrap it. Same little sword cut out. And there we go, in black. Okay, so the detent isn't quite as strong on this one, but I like it. No, maybe it is. Maybe I was just hitting it wrong. Yeah, it feels pretty good. Okay, let's go ahead and um, get kind of initial impressions on these here. I like the blue a lot better. Um, one thing I do appreciate though, the black isn't super metallic like the blue is. 
I think that would look a little strange. Yeah, ergonomically, they're not bad. Um, I almost wish there were some jumping or something up here. But to be honest, with these knives, these aren't really hard use anything. They appear to be... Yeah, that's going to take some breaking in. I'm not even sure if you can... You certainly can't flick that out. Not that that's a bad thing. I'm just commenting. So, yeah. Um, you, you can see here how the button lock mechanism is working. Um, it has this little peg. You push it down and it frees it. And you can close the blade. It looks very similar to um, other button locks. But it's it's nice. Um, I like this quite a bit. If I can get it to drop shut after a while, I think that'll be nice. But yeah, that's... I like that. I, I like the color of the blue one just a whole lot more. The black one's very, very nice, don't get me wrong, but I like this blue one, it's it's really bright and vibrant. These are both um, aluminum handles with um, 440 Akuto steel, and you can see this is the Kaiser Vector, or Tangram Vector, I apologize, this is Kaiser's uh, sub-brand, and designed by Kim Ning. Good job, Kim, these are very, very nice. I like the texturing on here. Um, it does give you some grip without being too grippy. Aluminum's fairly slippery, so... You know, I like it, and the design doesn't really bother me either. It um, it's somewhat reminiscent of Kaiser's uh, pivots almost on their, on their knives. So this this Tangram knife has a somewhat similar, and they replicate it on both sides. So that's that's nice. Yeah, I like, I like this quite a bit. I'm I'm excited to start carrying this, and it, it's nice to have two. That way, I can kind of you know compare and contrast them. All right. On to the big boy, literally. Kaiser. This is Kaiser's new updated packaging. If you watched my Feist unboxing, you saw their old packaging. This is their new stuff. Looks a lot like a cell phone case, actually. I have like a little lion door knockers there. Plain black on the sides. Let's go ahead and open this up. That is some really nice presentation, I'm not gonna lie. Passion, pride, performance. This is this is a nice unboxing just by itself so we have a uh, let's take a look here okay so microfiber cloth they're very generous with those I, I like that quite a bit and we have a booklet with um, a bunch of different stuff in there warranty information and then we have a little uh, pamphlet with some other designs by Kaiser on there mini Ethereum as well available in November you saw there I'm very excited for that, and um, I may be more excited for it in just a moment. So we'll set that off to the side, and here is the knife. We'll go ahead and put that back in there. I really, really like this packaging a lot. It is magnetic, if you're wondering. Okay, so in here, we have a knife. It is the Kaiser Megatherium. So I reached out to Kaiser, asked if they would be interested in sending me some knives for review. They said yes, and they said, which ones would you like? And my very first thought was the Megatherium. Um, this is a big knife. Wow, this is big. Okay, let's see how the action is. Very good. Very, very good. Oh, that feels magnificent in the hand. Oh, wow. The pocket clip's present, but it's, it's so rounded. Oh, that feels nice. I really, really like this blade shape. This is this is really, really cool. Oh, that lock bar tension is perfect, too. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that, that's drop shut smooth. Let's try to get a middle finger flick in on here. Okay. I've tried to give it some wrist there because I'm used to that. But let's, let's try it without and just see. Yep. Wow. Okay. What if we do with a thumb? It's kind of hard because of the way it wraps around. I don't know if not the detent's too strong, at least for me, on this particular knife. But it flips very, very, very well. The choil's nice on there if you had to, but I'm going to be honest, I really like it back in this grip. That feels really, really good. I think I'm going to do a quick size comparison here. So just so you can see how big this knife is. Here is the Tangram Vector, and 
get Kaiser Feist. That's a big knife. The action's a lot different on, on there than it is the Feist. Um, the Feist, if I need to, I can very slowly deploy it, but it has very, very good detent and rockets out of there. Um, same thing with the Tangram. I haven't tried opening it slow, but I'm assuming I could. Yeah, yeah, you could definitely do that. Don't know if you can do that on the uh, Mega Theorem, because this thing, I guess to propel this enormous blade, you kind of have to rock it out of there, but it it flies. Yeah, that's nice. And this, the titanium and the, the carbon fiber is gorgeous, by the way. This unidirectional carbon fiber is amazing looking. I'm really blown away with this knife. Now you do pay for that, and we'll go over all that in the review after I've carried it some more and see if it's worth that, but I'm very impressed so far. Gotta get used to that flipper tab. Very, very nice though. Very, very good work so far, Kaiser. I'm um, from the, you know, knives that I have here with me. And thank you to Kaiser for sending these out. Thank you to Joyce directly for, you know, giving me the opportunity to take a look at these. Keep an eye out, guys. These reviews will be coming within a few weeks. I just need some, to spend some time with each of the knives. And uh, keep an eye out for those. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, just review your initial impressions of these knives. And I hope you all have a good day. Bye.